everybody, Dave here, and today we're going to be doing another trail cam review. Today I'm looking at this Camp Park TC08. And Camp Park was nice enough to send this out to me in exchange for my review. They did not pay me anything and they did not tell me anything about what to say. The video is up to me. So anyway, I want to give you guys uh, a, an unboxing of this camera and then show you some day and night footage from this camera as well as some stills and then we'll, uh, I'll give you my final thoughts on this one. I can tell you right now that I love that more of the trail cams are coming out with the solar panel um, because that is a really welcomed addition as none of us want to keep paying a lot for batteries and this is a much more environmental friendly option. Uh, so let's get into it. Let me do a quick unboxing, show you guys what comes with it and how it comes and then we'll, uh, we'll get into the footage. Let's take a look at how it comes in the box. Instruction manual. Simple operating instructions. And a quick guide. There it is. Looking very nice. So it takes four only four batteries because it has the built-in. Uh, it's a four 4,000 milliamp hour battery, I believe, maybe even more. But here is the look at it. Here's where the batteries go. So your four, four go up there. You've got the inter integrated lithium ion battery with the solar panel up there. You've got a mount here. PIR, PIR sensors there. You've got some, uh, I don't know if those are sensors or your low glow LEDs uh, but it's a nice looking unit let's see what the accessories are okay so you get a plate bracket this plate goes on you can mount that on a tree or a wall or what have you and it has an articulating arm so you can position the camera any which way very nice. We have a cord for charging and for data transfer to get your files to the computer. And we have the belt uh, or strap that you can strap the camera uh, through the slots on the back here, these brackets, and you can mount it to a tree that way. But there it is. So I'm going to get this charged up. I'm excited to get it out there. We've had a lot of activity with the We've had coyote, fox, we've had bear, deer, um, of course raccoons and possums, and uh, yeah, we've even seen a bobcat once in a while. So anyway, I'm going to get this charged up and we'll go put it out there and see what we get. Okay, and here we have some night footage from the camera. We have this little fox that we see quite often. And the lights work really good. The footage is really good in my opinion. I think um, we have nice clarity, well lit, here's a little skunk, coyote, very nice night footage in my opinion. So here's a little possum, it just looks like it's lit up with a spotlight or something. Here we have a three-legged coyote, which I haven't seen before. Okay, so here we are on the TC08. I am uh, recording the audio and the video. At, the video is at 4K, 30 frames per second. So this is the highest resolution from this camera. And I wanted to do this because I did not get a lot of daytime uh, footage. Most of the animals that come around come around at nighttime. So I wanted to give you guys an idea of the footage. I wanted to give you an idea of the audio straight out of camera. So also I want to give you guys an idea of the still pictures out of this camera. So let's go and take a look at the photos from this camera. I took some daytime photos both at the lowest megapixel and the highest megapixels and I wanted to show you guys what the daytime photos look like because as I said I did not get a lot of daytime footage or photos out of this camera. So let's go take a look at that. Okay, and here are the photos, and both the 2 megapixel and the 12 megapixel both look good, although there was a little more detail in the 12 megapixel when I blew them up. 
So my final thoughts on this camera. Uh, overall, I really like it. And I think it's a good solid camera. And I love having solar panels on my camera. So I try to look for that more and more now because it really does help with batteries. If you're uh, someone who uses a lot of trail cams like I do and has them out there all the time. So anyway, that's my thoughts on this one, guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If there's anything you'd like to see a video on about trail cams in general, uh, just leave that below. And until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.